Today is the dawn of a massive new flood of Wi-Fi devices, and they're heading straight for your wireless network. Gone are the days of sporadic casual wireless use, when a few hundred users at a conference or exhibition had a few dozen laptops between them. Nowadays, each individual could have anything up to seven devices. Nowadays, uh, I would guess they have maybe up to seven devices. They have iPads, they have laptops, um, their uh, iPhones. Wireless laptops, uh, desktops, thin clients, Apple Macs, networks, laptops and handheld devices. We get 20 to 40,000 people coming to the event during these two weeks. And it's really vital that they do feel secure when they're going out on the internet. But of course it falls over very, very quickly if you haven't got a, a very robust and scalable wireless network. So this means that actually the, the wireless network has to be robust, it has to allow access, it, it has to be seamless. It also had to demonstrate um, performance capability so that we could have mass numbers of students logging on at any given spot on the college property. Uh, and there would be no issues. At other schools that I worked at, the wireless was a bit dodgy. You would get moved from one building to the next building and you'd have to close your laptop and it wasn't too sure that it was working and then you'd get there and you know, it would you know, spend time where, working out where the signal was coming from. We tried other systems and none of them had the capability to be able to move from one area to another without losing signal. Um, they were really high maintenance um, with lots of problems. Teachers didn't trust it, basically. Traditional Wi-Fi network vendors simply can't prepare you to effectively manage the dynamic nature of radio frequency by letting devices choose how and where to connect. Or should a flood of hungry Wi-Fi devices and applications hit, their flaws would be too big to ignore. It's time for a new way forward. When Maru came along, we looked at it and it was the sort of plug-and-play solution that is ideal for a secondary school. The Maroo network can really handle the high density traffic and has proved to us right across the college as we build the capacity that we've got a tool that we know is good for the future as well as being very reliable. The kids go into the classrooms, they open their netbooks, they log on, it works. It's a fire and forget type technology in that respect. We had a lot of confidence in the Maroo network to deliver for us because we've gone through a lot of due diligence and evaluation and safe to say that you know nothing was on the market could touch Maroo but until we had what we called the next day dawn of the iPad, when all them learners came in, all excited, and connected those devices to our network for the first time, that was the point when it really stood up and showed us what it could deliver. You don't even know it's there. It's like turning on a tap. You know that water is going to come out of that tap. The Maru wireless network is exactly the same. You just come in with your laptop, you switch the laptop on, and it will connect to the wireless network. The wireless that we've got here is really fantastic. It does enable us to use these laptops anywhere on site. We can go to the end of our playing field um, right up to the school office. We can walk around watching a video if need be. The children can really make the use of the outdoor space we've got because of the wireless. Traditional Wi-Fi networks operate like a three-lane motorway. By not recognising the different devices, they give equal priority to each and all transmissions resulting in the slower vehicles congesting the lanes and preventing fair access for the faster ones. Maru's time-based approach ensures true airtime fairness. On this new motorway, all vehicles travel at their maximum speeds, even those carrying the heaviest loads because each type of vehicle has its own lane. The slowest devices don't get in the way, and bandwidth-hungry applications such as video perform at their peak. By unlocking the full potential of 802.11n standards, the Maru wireless environment delivers benefits that multiply quickly. Unlike traditional Wi-Fi networks where devices see dozens or even hundreds of access points all operating on different channels, clients now see only one virtualized point of access for the entire network. We call this a virtual cell. From my perspective, I don't want to know anything about the technical stuff. I just want, want it to, to work. And it does. It's proven itself many times and it works. It simply works and it's easy to uh, manage, it's easy to change configuration on the fly if anything gets in and creates some kind of disturbance of the network. It's working. If we have an area, uh, there is uh, a lot of customers. It's quite easy now to, to just plug in a new access point and then we can increase the bandwidth. I'm extremely pleased and I think that Nobis Hotel has done something that is very unique to 
together with Meru when it comes to, to uh, a wireless network installation in a hotel. I don't worry a lot about uh, wireless anymore. Uh, before I did, no, it's not an issue. I think we are one of the biggest hotspots uh, with 11N in Norway. The Maru system allows for this 21st century learning experience, both for students and for staff as well. And for that reason, I'm really grateful and extremely happy that we've you know, installed the Maru solution at ESA Academy. With the ability to handle more access points than ever and provide real-time coordination of all access points in the virtual cell, businesses can meet the needs of an ever-growing number of users on their own. These discoveries and the products they empower provide a stable, adaptable ecosystem that enterprises can rely on when the flood of Wi-Fi devices hits and creates a competitive advantage by harnessing the full benefits of business essential applications. This is the Maru difference, fundamentally changing the fabric of the wireless environment and unleashing the power of mobility.